But what? Out that door right when I walked in that building, Ham was literally shaking. You could never, like, <laughs> it is what it is, literally. <laughs> Hey girl, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're just gonna hop right into it. Y'all are here for a reason, okay? You wanna get out of that comfort zone. You're done being stuck. And I feel you, girl. And I've been having so many new challenges this year. And it's been a minute since I actually sat down and talked to y'all. So I just wanna elaborate on the situation because there's so many things that I went through in this new chapter of my life. So many emotions, so many feelings. I just wanted to to shed light on it because we're all human we're all normal we all go through this feeling of being nervous especially when new challenges happen in our life but honestly god wouldn't give it to you if you weren't ready i'm gonna give you the steps that i took but to be a hundred percent completely transparent baby you can't lean on me you can't lean on nobody but god lean all into him but we're gonna get into it get your popcorn get your drink get your snack because oh baby it's been a roller coaster ride, especially for this new journey of mine. This year, as y'all may know, as y'all been seeing in my content, I've been really stepping up my game when it comes to content creation on all social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I've just been going crazy and I, I love it. I've been loving it for myself and y'all been loving it too. Y'all are soaking it up and I'm just so happy that y'all love it. But at the same time, I had to sit back and question myself, Kyra, are you upgrading in the personal development category? Because yeah the content's upgrading but is the personal development category upgrading and i had to sit back and think like <laughs> no stop it get some help it's not because i felt so stagnant i felt stuck and I just feel like I wasn't growing and evolving. So I had to sit back and question myself like, okay, well, what are the next steps to take to get to the next level? So I was like, you know what? Whatever God sends me, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna grab hold of that opportunity and I'm gonna say yes been so many times y'all that i've gotten so many opportunities and i said no i declined i was running from it i was like Ch -ch -ch, literally like why are you running and i wasn't doing the necessary steps to grow because it scared me it scared the fuck out of me just new things just scared me so bad this heaviness on my chest like it's an indescribable feeling my heart be thumping i don't even have to be in the situation but if we talk about it oh baby my heart so i'm like okay you know what let's just get to this next level and we're gonna go from there. I got my first speaking engagement, right? And this opportunity came about when Aaliyah actually DM'd me, Aaliyah that works for Adobe. And she was like, hey, we're actually doing our Create Now in Atlanta. We would love to have you be a content creator to speak in the creator spotlight. And I was like, oh cute i seen the dm but i did not respond right away <laughs> girl i told you i'll be running and then she actually emailed me so i'm like okay like let me see what this is about we emailed her back which is me and my mama she was like yeah let's get on a phone call so i can really tell you about this opportunity but she said in the dm she was like are you comfortable with speaking in a room with 300 to 500 maybe a thousand people <laughs> what Oh, a thousand, a thousand. <laughs> Y'all, my heart is thumping thinking about it all over again because a thousand people. Jesus Christ. You think little old me will be in a room talking front and center with a thousand people? Yo, you're crazy. You're crazy. But I was like, you know what, Kyra? You just said, you literally just told yourself that you was gonna take on new opportunities and new challenges. And I was like, okay, I gotta take myself serious. Cause if you don't take yourself serious, what makes you think other people will? Like, you gotta take yourself serious. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to myself. I'm gonna take on this new challenge. I was like, okay, let's go. So we got on the call. It went all good. And this was like a month in advance of the speaking engagement. My brain was telling me it was gonna be fine, but my body was saying different. It was having a different response. Well, I was just nervous every single day, like even a month in advance. <laughs> so I told myself that every single day, I'm gonna practice, practice, practice. I'm gonna make my slides, because we had to make the presentation. I'm gonna make my slides and I'm gonna practice 
every single day so i'm prepared so i know my slides by heart so i look like i know what i'm saying like this is my stuff i'm gonna know this like, like and be an expert everything requires preparation just like this opportunity i don't know what god is preparing me for but we just gonna roll with the punches okay <laughs> because our plan ain't nothing to what god has planned for us period i was very intimidated because i'm not an illustrator i'm not a graphic designer i don't do all those pop-up art stuff i do my little split cut cut insert insert some little effects here and there but that's about it i think of adobe i think about heavy illustration and Aaliyah was telling me she was talking to me because i had a meet up with her before before my presentation like a week before i had to show her my slides just so we can go over them and i was like yeah why me like why why did you feel like I was a good candidate for this opportunity? And she was like, well, baby, people are trying to be content creators. And I was like, yeah, they are. You know, that that's true. So I had to think about it. Like, this is what the people want to see. And obviously, I had to post this on my social media as well. And the girlies been wanting this. They've been, I have not done a meet and greet at all just because of fear. I did post my Adobe that I was speaking very last minute because I didn't want it to make it a cover meet and greet because I really wanted the people that wanted to be in the Adobe space to get the opportunity because I knew the girls was gonna eat it up. And the girlies that did come, I appreciate them that caught the signing. But we gonna do a meet and greet later, but that wasn't the time and place. But also at the same time, I had to really think about the people really wanna know what it's like being a content creator and how do you create content using Adobe. And when it came to me creating my presentation, I was thinking about the times when my supporters would come up to me and they would be like, Kyra, I love what you do. I wanna do the exact same thing. I have the camera. I film my videos, but, but, but what? Just answer the question, okay? Please don't play with me right now. I had to think of my presentation in that way when it came to creating my slides because at the time, I really didn't know what I was gonna create. <laughs> and it was just all very new so i was so lost in the sauce y'all i didn't even realize that god had helped me create my presentation i know it may sound crazy but every time i think about it i'm like wow this presentation really flows like the timeline of everything and it's just so crazy how like i said god will literally give you the opportunity but also will be present because his presence is so comforting and then also i came up with this saying that said do not let your mind trick you out your spot and during all this this whole process it's just like i was having these freaking crazy thoughts in my head and why would i let my mind trick me on my spot because i could have said no to this opportunity you know what i'm saying but i didn't allow myself to do that i said yes because my mind was not tricking me on my spot. And that is something that's going to stick with me forever and ever. Especially when it comes to making these new opportunities. I'm not going to let my mind trick me on my spot. No. Because you don't even know what's going to happen. You don't even know the greatness that's going to happen into your life until you say yes. Until you get out of that comfort zone, until you get out of that bubble. That bubble may seem comfortable and feel like home, but outside that bubble, oh baby, it's peaches and rainbows. It's so much greater and you just have to embrace the journey and embrace it. So I just wanted to embrace it and I just thought it was just a beautiful quote for me to incorporate into my presentation. And I was like, wow, Kyrie, you did that. And I was going to get employee of the month and that's on period. And like I said, it was just random stuff I was just coming up with just so it can resonate with the audience because i really wanted to make it a good presentation because like i said i'm not an illustrator i'm not a designer i had to come up with something and that, that's what came to mind and it's just such a beautiful quote and i just wow i just love it so much so after i make my presentation like i said i'm still feeling these nervous thoughts still beating myself up on how everything is gonna go if i'm going through something i need to talk about it over and over and over until i feel better <laughs> one day i was on the phone with jessica which is my natural hairstylist and i was telling her how i'm so nervous and she's like kyra why are you scared and i'm like i'm just nervous like i i don't speak in public like in front of a large crowd and she was like well do you trust yourself and i really had to think about it like it's not the fact that you don't trust yourself it's the fear of 
f***ing up. The fear of f***ing up. It's not about if you trust yourself. It's really the fear that you're going to f*** up. But guess what? That's the beauty about f***ing up. You can f*** up and learn from it. <laughs> you have to embrace f***ing up. And I have really had to tell myself, like, you know, this is just practice. I don't know what's to come, but this is just going to be practice. And I'm going to allow myself to f*** up and fail if that were the situation because i'm like do i trust myself it's just the fact that the fear that i would forget what what am i talking about <laughs> i don't even know i'm just rambling and i've had I, th I feel like when i was in high school i feel like i did a presentation and i was just rambling in front of the class i didn't even know what the f did i say <laughs> so i felt like i was gonna do that during my presentation because i didn't want it to be a situation where you go around and find <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't want that no thank you so I think that's why I was fearing so bad and I feel like that's why we fear because we're outside of our comfort zone we don't know what's gonna happen we know what's gonna happen in our comfort zone because that's what feels like home we know that that's familiar but when we step outside of the comfort zone oh baby we don't know what the f about to happen so allow yourself to f up girl allow it that's how you learn from it. And guess what? You're going to be 10 times better than where you started. She was just giving me advice. And I just love talking to her because she's just a hu beautiful human being. And she prays for me all the time. And it's just, she's just such a beautiful person. And she asked me, what is my favorite scripture? And my favorite scripture to say is Psalms 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And then she said, oh yeah, that's a good scripture. She was like, but I got one. I got one for you favorite scripture which is trust in the lord with all of your heart and lean not in your own understanding and all of your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight and i was like you know what i cannot lean on anybody to get me through this i have to lean on god and myself okay i had to lean everything in him everything in my body lean into him to get me through this because when i say i was so nervous every single day leading up into this speaking engagement and trust this journey is not easy but embrace it embrace everything that's coming into your life the new challenges the struggles it really makes you who you are Talking and doing makeup is so difficult. And looking back on everything, even with creating my presentation, I have to give it to God because he did that. So the week of the presentation comes and I'm doing whatever to make myself feel calm. I'm taking ashwagandha, magnesium. And one of the things that, <laughs> yeah girl, I was going through it. And one of the things that I love to do, especially if I'm going through something, is simply watch a movie, relax on the couch, watch some tv reality tv but i opted for a movie so i'm like okay i'm gonna watch a movie just to relax my mind get myself in the right state of mind right so i come across this movie i've seen the preview before um and i seen it was on amazon prime and i was like oh i'm gonna watch it and i'm a sucker for a good animated movie y'all i love a good animated movie a good disney movie yes but this one wasn't disney it was dreamworks <laughs> So I come across this movie, it's called Wild Robot. Basically, the movie is about a robot. She is a female and she lands in the forest with a whole bunch of wild animals, girl. She's just trying to figure it out, basically. So then she comes across this baby duck, goose, whatever. Duck or goose, a goose. So she has to teach her how to eat, swim, and fly. She basically taught him all the tasks until they have to fly. Cause obviously she ain't no robot, she can't fly for real. Not even his own kind. So she can only do so much, you know? But she's doing the best that she can, honestly, for a robot. Anyway, the day comes where all the gooses and ducks or whatever have to go fly for hibernation season they're getting ready to fly and take off right he's like trying to fly and she's sending him off like and she goes are you ready and he's like no but i guess i have to be and y'all when i say once that duck said that and it's such a beautiful scene it, i got so emotional i'm like oh my god is this me god are you what are you trying to tell me because <laughs> we 
want to wait for the perfect moment to be ready for something because when these new opportunities come you feel not ready unprepared you feel underqualified you feel scared you don't know what's about to happen it's just so crazy how we try to wait for the perfect moment to grow but in reality it's never a perfect time to get out of our comfort zone and to blossom into something new because there's no perfect time when it's about you there's no perfect moment no perfect time the time is now there's no perfect moment when it comes to you so embrace everything that comes your way even if it is scary even because all you're doing is prepping yourself for what's to come because like i said you don't know what god has in store for you that's why when people ask me where do you see yourself in this many years i don't know because i don't know what's in my path i did not see this in my path for 2024 at all but you know that's what happens when you let god take the wheel the perfect time is now there is no perfect time when it comes to you so i just thought that was such a beautiful message such a a beautiful movie if you're able to watch it watch it it's a cute kid friendly watch it with your kid the family everybody i just felt like that was such a beautiful movie and i swear to y'all the 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 best messages are in animated movies but when i say all the kid movies have the best messages i'm like oh period the adult movies y'all need to catch up because <laughs> what is happening so the day comes where i have to do my actual presentation and when i say y'all your girl i was going through it at first during the day i was calm i was calm collected i'm like okay i can do this like i got this like don't play with me we go to the event do a sound check one two and everything is starting to sink in y'all i'm trying to drink a white claw trying to calm my nerves trying to do every single thing count to 10 take deep breaths in and out like girl <laughs> i'm like it's really happening and then all the people just come in the whole event space is filled with people filled with so many people y'all it's, it's crazy i was so i'm like wow like this is really happening but at that point it was like okay we doing this we gonna sink or swim so we already here so there's no turning back where is my brush i kept going to the bathroom i was shaking like y'all i was taking a video of the of the event while um, while one of the creators were presenting their presentation and y'all when i say my hand was literally shaking like this i can't i don't know i don't know. i don't know i just don't think this is like right for me i don't want to do it i want to go home like i can't take the pressure of it and i just had to ask like god please get me through this please i had to pray when i say i was shaking i've never experienced any shaking like that before in my life so then it was my turn to get on the stage and i just went black <laughs> when i was up there on that stage y'all i was like i can't believe i'm doing this i'm doing this right now and everything was just flowing i'm i may be biased because obviously it was my presentation but i feel like i did so well for my first one and like i said right before i got on stage i was like you know what if i up i up like it is what it is it's just a learning thing it's practice like it is what it is god i just gotta thank god for this moment because when i tell y'all when i was up on that stage i was looking into the crowd i couldn't see nobody no one's faces just the light <laughs> And I was so thankful because I didn't want to stare into nobody's face. I was like, yes, I don't see nobody. All I see is me. Literally, all I see is me. Straight tunnel vision. And I was just so happy because that would have made me even more nervous. Like people just looking at me dead in the face and I'm just like. <laughs> but me looking into the light really helped me and not seeing anybody's faces made me and helped me flow through the presentation and it went so fast y'all it was only a five to ten minute presentation we couldn't go over because it was on a it was a time limit so yeah girl it was flowing it was flowing and i had a couple jokes here and there you know a little one too you know but other than that i was like okay period you did that <laughs> i got off stage y'all and i was just so proud of myself like i may have stumbled maybe a couple times maybe i don't know y'all when i say i'm just so fulfilled so fulfilled and i felt so rewarded and nobody could take that from me i gave this reward to myself 
and it was so filling it filled my whole cup and what's so crazy is the same around the same time i won like the week before i won the award by black girl digital so grateful for it so thankful that they recognized me and acknowledged me and i won the youtuber of the year i'm just so grateful don't get me wrong i'm so grateful but it didn't feel me it didn't move me personal development is what moves me because the same Kyra today is not the same Kyra last year at all. Personal growth to me is what fills me. And because this is a reward to myself, taking myself serious, taking on these new challenges is what makes me whole and becoming this beautiful person and undescribable feeling on how I felt. And not to discredit like everything that I've accomplished at all. Like I feel like I've earned, you know, the spot for to be acknowledged and I'm just so grateful and I'm honored. But at the same time, yes, I'm comfortable and I, I'm blessed to be where I'm at, but I'm always in that mindset of that, okay, there's more to be done. You know what I mean? I'm not stuck in a satisfactory mindset. I'm not satisfied all the time. I'm always somebody who wants more in the personal development category, okay? The content is cute, is, is good and all, but the biggest accomplishment that I have is growing as a person. And what is gonna grow you as a person is taking on these new challenges, no matter how hard they are. Because when I tell you, once you get over that hump, and you be like, damn, I did that. What? You can never, okay? You can never, nobody can ever take that from you. Nobody can ever take what you accomplished for yourself away from you. And that is just the most fulfilling feeling that I have ever experienced. And it was just a beautiful presentation. And I'm just so happy that I did this for myself. Nobody else, just for me. And like I said, it was so many people in the room and I'm just like, wow. And then actually after the presentation, I met a couple of my supporters. So I have so many beautiful supporters. It's just amazing. And they basically, and they showed up for me and I'm just so grateful and they were like, Kyra, you did so freaking good. They were, and I was like, thank you. And I was just taking it all in. And even one of my supporters, her name is Mia. She was like, I will never forget her. Cause she was like, did you take like presentation classes? And I was like, no girl, I didn't. I did not take no presentation classes. Girl, I was practicing, but I did not take no classes for this. She was like, you did so freaking good. <sighs> And when I say when I walked off that stage, y'all, it was like a breath of fresh air. I was like, <sighs> oh my God, wow. I was just so happy. And that was just a big weight lifted off my chest. And I was like, wow, I really did that. Nobody held my hand through the process. I just had to trust in God, lean into him, and he gave me his strength and just rocked that presentation. And I was just so happy that I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. But you have to be willing to fail, fuck up, but that's how you learn on the way. This is just a learning experience. And I was just so happy that I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. And like I said, you have to be okay with failing, and it's okay. You're gonna learn along the way because what you gonna do during that process? Quit. Cause one thing I could have done is walked out that door right when I walked in that building, but I didn't. I was like, okay, we gonna do this. And I feel like that nervous feeling isn't gonna go away. I actually had dinner with the Adobe team the day before and we were all talking and they were like, public speaking is something that I feel like everybody is nervous about. And those nerves won't go away. You just have to trust yourself that it's gonna all work out, but you have to be willing at the same time. Shine bright like a diamond. So I challenge you to take on these new challenges in life. Up. it's all right we ain't gonna judge you get out your comfort zone girl you're not gonna grow in there you're gonna stay stuck in that little bubble don't do it don't let that be you because i want you to be exposed to everything that god has for you be fearless i know it may sound scary but when i say it's gonna be the most rewarding feeling you're gonna overcome something you didn't think in your mind that was even possible like i said do not let your mind trick you out your spot 
that because it can do that to us. Do not let this be in control. You are in control. This is your life, baby. This is your life. So what you gonna do? And it takes so much courage to get out of that bubble because it took me a while to want to accept these new challenges. And I'm so brave for that. And I just can't wait for the new opportunities to come. And I'm absolutely going to say yes to. And then what's so crazy after that? Girl, and the opportunities are endless. And I'm no longer allowing people things to hold me back for what god wants me to endure so don't let anything stop you from receiving the things that you know you should be receiving because god wants you to have it it's me versus me okay and just know this new challenge is preparing you for what's to come we don't know what it is yet but everything is for a reason and i want to try this new win beauty products she sent me some i lined my lips with the fenty beauty extra thigh one of my favorite lip liners it's just this beautiful nude color and it has a little shimmer to it. This is cute. Ugh, I like this. I don't even like that many browns on me, but this is cute. Okay, Serena, I see you, girl. Look at that tip on that eyeliner. Crazy. Make sure y'all go get some Win Beauty. Ooh, I like this. Okay, don't play. Everything is always gonna work out. Everything happens for a reason and we're just gonna learn on the journey. And that's just how we grow. We take on these new challenges, we face our fears, and that's just how we're gonna get better and better and better. Any, all these opportunities are endless. So the time is now, okay? You are going to be that girl. You're gonna show up and show out. And it's just gonna be a beautiful and awesome transition. And I'm so excited for you. I gotta make it to where I'm going. All right, y'all, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just really wanted to elaborate on my journey of overcoming this new challenge it can be so scary it can be so hard and difficult we feel unprepared not ready but there is no perfect time when it comes to you there is no perfect time to take on a challenge when it comes to you so take on that challenge you're going to just grow and become the most beautiful human being that you can become and i'm just so excited for your next chapter and i'm gonna be cheering you on through the screen girl because you definitely got this don't play with you mm -hmm period you say you want to be this you say you want to be that so be it be it even if you do gotta fake it till you make it be it girl you got this but i love y'all so freaking much and i'll see y'all in the next video and let me know what other videos do y'all want for the end of the year i'm getting ready to put my video categories together but i just want to know what y'all want from me so leave them in the comments down below and that is it and i love y'all so freaking much and i'll see you in the next video